Remember, this is me favorite crew of special little beans. And if anything happens to a single one of them, I'll kill everyone here. Ah, uh, everyone on the planet, of course. Peace be damned. Bucko would never kill his own crew. That wouldn't make any sense at all. He would never dream of harming a single person on his crew. Quickly, put that away. Don't let anyone see it. Here we are again in sweet Bucko's town. Population, actually quite a lot. We haven't got that many guests right now, but normally quite a lot of people. Please ignore the Fallout 3 filter. Yeah, I caused a nuclear meltdown. Got better, it's okay. Now it's just producing an incredible amount of radiation that's being pumped directly into the ocean. Don't worry about it. We are right on the on the piratey precipice of forming alliances with the Forsaken Corporation, the Sea Serpents, and the Junkers. Bucko has, has captured raiders that have turned up and threatened his life and the life of his people. Mr. Cringe has slowly converted them, shown them there is a better way, and inspired their confidence in Bucko. Then we've shown them a tremendous amount of mercy by releasing them back out there into the world. Right now, 50% of all those factions out there in the world believe in Bucko, and it's up to us to push that other 50%. And I think at this point, probably by force. Sea pirates don't just respect a, a merciful treasure hoarder. Like, they potentially view Bucko drink right now. He did kick their ass in combat, but they had we had pretty good numbers on our side. They were, they were fighting defensively. So now it's time to prove that we've got a bit of grit. We've got a bit of, we've got a bit of moxie. We've got a bit of spunk, see? We're gonna take the fight to them. We're gonna bring enough back to finish off converting the faction. We bring them here and we prove to them that we are a capable leader. Everyone will believe in Bucko. I don't think we want any more new recruits at this point. I think we've got an incredible crew. Every single one of them is incredible at one particular skill. They all fill a niche. They all play a part. We would fall apart if any single one of these people died. The point is, this is a puzzle that needs all of these valuable pieces. So we don't need any new recruits. What I do need to do is give this brand new devil fruit, the great creating fruit, to uh, Yeetmore. You are permitted access to Bucko's vault. Someone in the comments asked if we will be building a solid gold, uh, probably not solid gold, actually, a gold-filled room for him to dive into, Scrooge McDuck style. Absolutely. Oh my god, it's so tempting. It's it's the Queen's one, though. We would never work with them, even if they are going to offer us diamond skin. Oh, for God's sake. I mean, this is, uh, this is, um, oh, what, what is it called? Is it, uh, tough skin. It's tough skin gland. Oh, Lord. I can't. I, ca I can't do it. We cannot help the Queen's no matter what treasure they offer. Speaking of treasure... The helix fossil of Bucko's way. You don't say. Well, let's get to it. Hoist the anchor. There's a sea serpent outpost right here. So if we're going to go anywhere, this seems like the right place. Bear in mind, they're all neutral to us right now because we've shown them mercy time and time again. Every time they've raided us, we've converted and released their people. I'm sure, they're not happy about this massive mutiny waiting to happen. So we're just going to go and just gonna go and give it a shove along. They're going to open fire at us. We're going to open fire at them. So it begins. Time to show them that we are... Wait, we can't begin an attack while docked at their settlement. What does that mean? So hold on, if we... Oh. What does that mean? Hello. Seems to have worked fine. Hello. Oh. Oh, that's cool. What a base, huh? They built like longhouses embedded into a mountain on the beach. Hello. Get ready to broadside them, Admiral Bucko. They think we're turning up as friends. I think we need to take close to nine of them alive. Undock. Get ready. Broadside him, Bucko. Broadside him. Yar, you bastards! It's Bucko drinking crew. Actually, there's cover right there. Why don't we jump behind that cover? We just go there and there. That seems good. Let's get our melee characters bunched up in the middle. That seems like a safe idea, right? Yes, go, go, go. Aid the fighting. Aid the fighting. This is what we want to see. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. fire. Go. Okay, that's a lot of people. We'll be all right though. We'll be all right. You gotta have faith in the crew. Search and destroy crew. Nice work. Oh my god, we are carving them to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a crew. What a crew. Look at them go. You didn't stand a goddamn chance, Bucko. Stand down. Bucko, you've done enough, my friend. Oh, my God. One's escaping. Sorry, Sire's on it. Look at her go. She's like the damn Terminator. We well, haven't got to worry about most of these people bleeding out because they are wearing crypto gear. I mean, obviously... Obviously, some of them are a little bit of a lost cause. The ones with missing heads, mainly. Area is now safe. The hilarious thing is, that when we destroy these bases, we're going to be getting the... Uh, here we are. Base destroyed. Relations with the pilgrims up by 20. Relations with the wealthy landowners up by 20. Everyone. Everyone else likes us by 20. Salty took a permanent injury? What, were you shot in the lung? What the hell happened, Salty? Are you okay? Your right lung was destroyed, but it's okay. You're in no immediate danger. Because being shot in the lung... That's just, that's just everyday things in this crew. We managed to capture seven of them. Is that going to be enough? Sadly, I don't think so, but we'll we'll see how we get on. One more raid will do it for sure. Look at all this crypto gear. 
Oh, thank you. We'll smelt it all down. I don't really want this shit. Thousand people lived here once. Now it's a ghost town. It was frightening. Two hours, it turned from a little bustling pirate settlement into nothing at all. It's the melee squad. It was the melee squad. They're terrifying. The way they were just going forward and cutting them down one after another. I mean, it's not as if we were even outgeared. It's not as if we're in some incredible endgame stuff. Realistically, two of them were wearing recon armor. We were up against people in heavy crypto. We're just that fucking good. We're just that good a crew. I think before we begin converting this enormous prison of people, there is something very important first. And that is restoring Mr. Cringe to 100% power. We had to do a little apparel research to make this happen, but look at my boy now. Oh, he's so back. He's got a monocle too, so he's actually better than ever. Hold on, that's actually Bucko's real heart, isn't it? Hold on. Bucko's heart. Because we swapped it out for a solid gold heart yesterday, you right, remember? We'll carry on with the rest of him later on. We should probably put that in the vault. That seems like uh, it could be quite a vulnerability. You know, you put that in a box and then suddenly you got control over Bucko. It's it's a whole mess. Um, wow, look at all this stuff. My God. I'm going to start hiding one or two of these things. So let's get to build this royal chest to put his heart in. But we're in some sort of weird backwards world where we've got almost 4,000 gold and no steel. You know what I love? A tremendous amount of treasure. Okay, we're going on the hunt for our... <laughs> we're going on the hunt back for their helix fossil again. And to be honest, we found a lot of good stuff along the way. Hello there. Also found a shitload of mechanoids, my god. Okay, um... Let's crack open this room. I think that's an essential first. If we hit that, they're gonna wake up. No, we're good. Okay, let's deal with... Oh! God damn you! I was gonna say, let's deal with these two first. And then go from there. Yeah, you know what? Just execute. Just get them out the way fast. Maybe we won't wake up the others. There you go. Okay, nice stealthy assassination there with an enormous anchor. You wouldn't think it would work well as a stealth weapon, yet here we are. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Don't fire! Bucko. Bucko, goddamn drink. Can someone extinguish Sire? I don't know why they fucking given up putting out fires on themselves. This is madness. This is madness. Just extinguish yourself. Fuck me! Bucko can't fight fire and she won't extinguish herself and I just do not understand why. I don't understand why they won't do it anymore. Just put the fire out. Please. Finally! Oh my god. I don't know why that took so bloody long. Butch we're able to pick up, so that's so the problem. All her clothes have burnt off. <sighs> it's supposed to be a quick in and out job. It's always supposed to be a quick in and out job and it just never goes that way, does it? I cannot believe I'm about to suggest the idea I'm about to suggest. It is so incredibly out of character. Oh my god. Oh, sized, uh, sized out with them. I was just going to try and outrun them, but no, she, she's got this very well covered. Thank you. Fighting 12 angry Vikings wearing high-tech armor that stops them blading out. Fine. That's easy enough. No, no, no. You need to put, you need to put her on the ship, though. You need to put, put, put her on the ship. Uh, trying to fight one mechanoid with a flamethrower? Actually impossible. Oh my god. Baby Bongwater's old enough to do medical. Baby Bongwater's old enough to do the medical care. Tide, you're free. Little sweet Tide Bubble, you're free. Go about your life. Oh, the infections. Oh, Butch. Yeah, no, I'm about to do something very, very out of character here. And then out of character thing is probably like a fire foam belt. What do you think of that? Sanity. I've never made one before in my life, but my God. Get to Butch. Rescue Butch. It's like our ultimate weakness. And I'm not sure why this crew is so susceptible to fire. It just, it just does not make any sense. Obviously, it's a bug. They just don't want to extinguish the fires. That's not the point. They've just got a weakness to it, an aversion to it. Because what's the opposite of water? Fire. That they're, they're sea pirates, not fire pirates. I don't even know what a fire pirate is, but write that down for a future series. 130%. Oh my god. Expecting? Father is master cringe. Oh my god. There's no point expecting the bloodline because it's all... These are all morphline. So, so it, uh, or, or, uh, Xeno, Xeno genes or whatever the hell they're called in the base game. So it would just come out a regular human. Oh... Oh, and she is a hussar. She certainly wouldn't have just stayed at home and, you know, put her feet up because she's got a baby on the way. No, no, no. She lives for the battle. Okay, I was about to say, maybe we change plan and do some bionics for Butch, which I do want to do. I can't help but notice something called a long night has just popped up. A space entity of unimaginable size has covered a local star, resulting in a long-lasting eclipse. Terrified of the supernatural phenomenon, other factions will use this time to wage war and conflict across the surface. It will last anywhere between a season... For several years. Oh. Well, it's just like permanent eclipse then, huh? Oh, God. Uh, are they going to be upset because it's always dark now? How? Serious concerns about my lover. 
Oh, because Sire is, Sire is unwell. Right, fair enough. Yeah, okay, that's, that's actually kind of sweet. Thank you, Bucko. Like I said, heart of gold. Um, what about this enormous space entity that's covered the planet? Should we be concerned about that? I presume that means there'll be much more, like, many more raids. Which is fine. Don't get me wrong. We can, we can definitely work with that. If anything, all it does is save us having to sail out. So the three that are actually conscious and walking, we've already converted. Because Mr. Cringe is an unstoppable madman. Now he's got that monocle. I mean, how could you not listen to a man dressed like that? 8 out of 15. 9 out of 15. 10 out of 15. So we need five more. 1, 2, 3, 4. Bollocks. <laughs> God damn it. So close. Should we just go do another raid fast? We're so bloody close. I was waiting for Butch to get back up. And she seems fine. Uh, she's still got a lot of rot to deal with. I can't realistically send Butch back out in this state. She needs a new lung, a new kidney, a new leg. Realistically, a new everything, to be honest. Uh, besides, I hear cyborg wives are all the fashion. Maybe Master Cringe would like one as well. We have the technology. We can rebuild her, okay? Definitely a... What are those called? Coagulator, that's right. Uh, we've got a vigor augment for the left kidney, so I think we can... Oh, is it an implant, not a replacement? Oh, bollocks. It's all a vigor augment. Okay, that's annoying. New arm? Do you need a new arm? Left shoulder? Um... Left shoulder, you've got an injury there, but it's not terrible. You know what? I might just go full clockwork with Butch. She's been such a key instrument to our success. I think I've got to do it. It's not clockwork. We need mechanical stuff. Uh, let's give her a couple of new arms and a couple of new legs. And we, we've got plenty. Even though we haven't got any steel, we can stuff them with silver. The silver warrior. Oh, that's so good. It's a shame we don't have diamonds because then we can make her actually unbreakable. That would be so good. Oh, <laughs> well, never mind. Um, and then we also need a new lung, correct? Is that still on the to-do list? Uh, it is probably mechanical guts. Glowing rock belly, iron belly. No, it's not that. It's whatever the one that gives us... Um, yeah, miasma filtering. There you are. We're going to have to bump that right up to the top of the list then. Let's finish off advanced servers and let's get on that one next. Ooh, forget about them a second. Look, it's Catfish and Salty's wedding. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, they're having a marriage in their piracy bar. Couldn't be any more appropriate. This is actually perfection. This is so incredible. Crack out the grog. It's time for a celebration. Ah, uh, well, some of them are cracking out the grog. They're kind of t they're doing it one at a time. Oh, dear. Uh, the gold shaking table is short-circuited in the rain and exploded into a fireball. We should be fine, right? It's, it's raining. It's a problem that solves itself. Gotta do a quick check and just see what sort of uh, what sort of friendship levels we're looking at. Butch and Admiral Bucko still don't see eye to eye. Butch likes him a lot more now, but he is not a big fan of Butch. Disfigured, she was previously our enemy. I don't trust her. Wow, even now, Butch was previously our enemy. I don't trust her. I think that's probably where she got enthralled by the uh, by the charm weaver. Every single person is friends or has a positive op opinion, other than Butch. Oh, it's kind of sad, really. Oh. She's such an outcast. We'll, we'll solve it. We'll solve it, okay? They'll, she'll win their trust back over. Oh, God, that's so annoying. 13 out of 15 of the sea serpents. Then if we release this one too, just got converted. 14 out of 15. We almost got them. We almost got them over to Bucko's way. And I suggest an absolutely insane idea. What if we give Yeetmore? Because Yeetmore's got pretty good brawling. We give Yeetmore a weapon. We give Yeetmore his own ship. Probably the, uh, the flying fuck is absolutely perfect for Yeetmore. What if he's able to sneak in? Knock someone unconscious and bring them back before they even know it. I think it's worth a goddamn go. Special Agent Yeetmore Jones. This is going to be quite a long journey, isn't it? The closest Sea Serpent settlement is all the way up there. 1.4 days of solid sailing to get right to the north of the map. I suppose we'll attack the bottom. <laughs> That's always good life advice, isn't it? First there, Yeetmore. Don't hold back. Let's celebrate almost taking out the sea serpents by cracking open a couple of treasure boxes. I feel like we haven't done that for a long time. Ooh, heavy brow. Not really what we're after, but we did get another silent, depending on who we want to give that to. What have we got here? Lovely pottery. That's what we want to see for the vault. And another server. Okay, and then finally... Oh, we got two more. Hold on. Oh, we got three more. Hold on. Hello. Extremely attractive. Ooh, very pale red skin. Plunder Agony Augments. You're okay. Thank you. Appreciate that, though. Kapow. Orange fruit. No, again, not really too... That's not an orange, you fucker. I know what an orange looks like. All right, very slow on the uptake on that one. And then finally... Cold Immunity. Oh, we got a rare fruit. Cold Immunity Pale Yellow Skin. Does make him look kind of golden. Ah, <sighs> Is that really the legendary bucko fruit that I've had on my list for all this time? Not really. 
Not really. I don't think I can justify that. I'd love to make some more armor for Sire. That is a hell of a look there. Lots of people are saying, what about the privateer's armor? That's the one that gives you the grappling hook, which is, uh, I'll be honest, kind of an inferior version of the flying armor. Obviously, it's got more defense, but it, you, you grapple onto like walls and solid objects and stuff. So there's a lot of situations it's just not massively beneficial. I guess we'll make one anyway. You know what? Let's make all three. Let's give everybody a little bit of variation here. 20,000 plunder. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is insane. It's because we've got so many businesses on the go, right? We've got the we've got the casino. We've got the servers just churning out a shitload of silver. We've got all these guest beds, which have been, which have been occupied quite a lot. I'm not sure what price we should go for on some of these beds, you know? Attractiveness. Let's put the price up to 50. If they're willing to pay it, I'm going to put the price up. That's capitalism, baby. This isn't, like, objectively evil. Okay, he's putting the price up on, like, on, like, beds on a luxury pirate island where you can lay low. He's not putting the price... He's not doing something, like, tremendously evil, like, putting the price up on baby formula. Finally, the baby formula is mine. Not that... Not that kind of baby formula. Master cringe. It's just going to be a constant minus five while we've got this long night on. It's not a big deal. Don't get me wrong. I mean, look at the... Look at the mood. We've definitely got this under control now. Look at that, 95%. Oh my god. I think I've ever had such a happy colony. This place is paradise. Oh shit. Oh, this is it. Yeetmore, it's your moment, my friend. Stealthy attack. Fly in, execute, grab them, fly out, get in the boat, move away. Holy shit. This base is awesome. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. It's like a player built base. This is amazing. Is that a solid treasure helmet? Oh, treasure leather. Not quite sure what that means. Like a, like a golden helmet that's been filled with leather. This is so cool. Like the roads and everything match the islands perfectly. I have no idea how they pulled this off. Sea grapes. They're growing sea grapes. They've got a sea grape farm. Genuinely super impressed by this base. This is better than 90% of the bases that I see in Discord. No offense. <laughs> on the ship, there is a load pawn button. So I wonder if... Oh god, this is horrible, isn't it? This jetpack is about to do some real heavy lifting. Mr. Jetpack, that's generally what they do anyway. If we can just... Maybe if we just, like, get it. Uh, can we get through this? Okay, we can climb over the Jeep. Hold on. St just just bide your time, okay? Don't be impatient. Wait for one to separate from the pack. Okay. I'm seeing an opening here. Wait for one to separate from the... Hopefully this guy... Oh, God. We're getting too far away from the ship. Again, just be patient. Rodolfson. Rodolfson, it's a bad day to be you, my friend. Get him. Get him. Get him. Hold on. Hold Go. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. Boom. Knocked out. <laughs> okay. If we say, click this. Load pawn. Oh my god, I can't do it. Fuck. Uh. Carry. <laughs> we haven't been spotted. No. We still haven't been spotted. Under the, the, the pitch black darkness. I am a genius. The question is, can I actually put them on the ship? Uh, are we gonna have to? We we might have to capture them first. Shit. Uh, drop Rodolfson. Is there no way I can put them on the ship? Carry them and then is that load? Board? No. See, we 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 drop them if we try and board. Okay. This is this is problematic. This is very problematic. They're knocked out for an hour. Then they're gonna get back up. This is very silly. <laughs> this is very silly. Hold on. Hold on. Hit me out. Hit me out. Hit me out. I've got this. I've got this. Hold on. We just put down a nice timber wall. How much wood did we get from that? 27. All we've got to do is like one, two, three, four. Oh, do that. And then that that can be a door. It needs to be a door, realistically. Oh, it's 25 again. There wasn't it for a fucking door. Oh, God. What about like, um, have we got something cheaper? i oh, genuinely going to get up any second now. Try again. This is horrendous. What's your, what's your building skill? Four. Okay, good luck. Good luck. If they get back up, maybe we can just knock them back out. Maybe we'll come back off of cooldown. Start building. Not assigned to constructing. Yeah, fair point. Fair point. Okay, here we are. This is going to work. Nice. 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 Botched it. That's okay. Okay. And then just, just finish that one. Just finish that one. Load timber onto pack beast. Why can't I just click that on this guy and be like, load him onto fucking pack beast, huh? He's out. He's about to get back up. He's about to get back up. He's about to get back up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, furnishings. Resting spot. Boom. And then four captives. Capture. Oh, yeah, boy. Boom. And then, can we load him on? Load pawn. Yes! Pack him. Ha 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 ha! Yar! Yar! 
They never saw it coming. Oh, yeet more, you legend. That was a fucking work of art. That was a work of art and pure skill. Have we got enough food left on the ship to last him the way back? Uh, nine rations. It's going to be a hungry time, but it's 1.7 days. You can't starve to death over the course of 1.7 days. God damn. I cannot believe that shit worked. I wonder the cover of the Eternal Darkness jetpack can knock him out there, anyone seeing. Bear in mind, it was dark outside. It counts as 0%. We can see it because we are an omnipotent RimWorld uh, overseer. But for them, it was just pitch black outside, you know? No, no light pollution, total darkness, not even a moon. Because the sun's out. So where's the moon going to light from, silly? You got to think about these things. Moon was the first ever solar powered light, when you think about it. Extremely attractive fruit. I could give that to Butch, and that would... Oh, she's already eaten the devil fruit, so she can't eat another, right? It doesn't It doesn't do anything. No, look, she stopped eating it. Oh, bollocks. Uh, we've already given one to Cringe for very happy. Could give the extremely attractive to Yeti, but the thing is, Yeti is already very attractive, which seems a bit pointless. Um, Maybe we won't do anything with that. The pale skin, obviously, we don't want. Heavy brow, we definitely don't want. Devil eyes? It's a cool idea. I don't think it does anything, though. I don't think it does anything. Skelankers for chatting. We don't really need one for digging. We haven't got a miner. Great cooking. Obviously massive. Oh, like our, like our wound healing thing. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. These are all super, super useful to help rebuild uh, poor sweet Butch, who's been through the meat grinder a little bit. Do I have pyramid? Fuck it. We can afford a pyramid. Let's put it in Bucko's vault. Who's going to stop me? We should buy all of these things. Buy that treasure too. And we can trade it for a tremendous amount of rum. You're pirates after all. Selling rum is uh, should, should be what we do here. We put a pyramid in Bucko's vault. That's such a flex. <laughs> well, actually, Master Cringe, you can hold that one down, can't you? Oh! Mad swinging pirates. I presume you're not talking about Yeti. What is it? Oh, it's the monkeys. Level, level 20. His monocle has been enchanted. It will appear as a mythic item called Master Cringe's diplomatic attire. Very nice. God, I'm going to have to remember to include so many mods in the next mod pack so we can see some of this crap. Sire. She dropped her anchor! She dropped a bloody anchor. Did you see that? Oh, for God's sake. She just didn't, didn't want to hurt the monkey. I don't blame her. He made it. He made it. He made it. Oh, my God. Okay. So, let's get... Uh, someone needs to come move this other ship out of the way. Catfish Chef, could you move the golden anchor, please, friend? Uh, no. No, he can't. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate you trying. Thank you. I, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> if we turn off, unload you, unload the cargo carefully, arrest you... Don't fight back, please. Just just go. Just go uh, Just go peacefully, for God's sake. And then with that, I believe that's our first enemy totally sorted. Now, we do need to improve relations with them. I don't know if that last raid damaged relations because they didn't see us. Attack settlement minus 99. There's only one of them. It's not double stacked up. So because we didn't technically attack, the, the attack didn't begin. They didn't turn hostile to us. They didn't even see us there. I wonder if it's determined by the stealth stat. Yeah, that is a that is a thing in the game. But it's, it's I thought it was just for hunting though, right? Yeah. Bizarre. Yeah, we were just able to sneak the whole thing. Mr. Cringe has a far more important job before he is able to come back and start the... Well, what will, be, will be quite a quick conversion with the amount of wealth we have started to generate now. He needs to go buy a bunch of steel so that we can fix his wife. Oh, sweet Butch can't even walk anymore. She's that heavily injured. Up to the third trimester of pregnancy. So her manipulation is down so low that she just simply can't move anymore. She's just, just done for. It does say manipulation, but it does affect moving. You can see it right there. I don't know why it does that. Aurora Borealis. During the long night... Localized entirely on my island. <laughs> How does that make sense? I thought Aurora Bor uh, You know what? Don't worry about the si don't worry about the science, okay? We call them steamed hams, despite the fact that they are quite obviously grilled. Oh, it's an upstate New York thing. Really? Cause I'm from Utica and I haven't heard that before. No, 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 not Utica. It's a it's an Albany thing. <laughs> you know, I'd be able to remember a lot more in life if my brain was not 90% Simpsons quotes. Al Cringe, you're an odd fellow, but you steam a good ham. <laughs> what a show. What a show. Obviously, we just need the components, right? Because we're going we're gonna to stuff all with silver, which I think is a, like a Finnish folktale about a blacksmith building a wife out of silver. Maybe I'm misremembering things. It doesn't really matter too much. The point is she's going to look incredible. I'm just going around buying all their art at this point. Oh, we can't we can't bring it back. I'm putting more of an effort into adopting uh, different aspects of each series and, and really testing it and putting it into my particular play style. Jetpacks have obviously become totally key. I've been sold on that. Ancient Complex has become totally key. I've been sold on that one too. Actually using Psychos and abilities. You know, that was a big focus a couple of series back when we had a limited colony size. It's become a core part of my arsenal now. I think from this series, it's got to be the skill anchors or, or your, your, your skilled trainers. They're just so bloody good, and I never realized it before and never appreciated how often they're for sale. One day will be the time of the fire foam popper, but it's not today. That's all futuristic Great Pyramid. Oh my god. 
Uh, it's very expensive, but it's worth every penny. This is gonna completely bankrupt us, but my god, what a flex. Should we, let's not sell all the suspicious rum, okay? I would like I would like to keep some of that on the stockpile. Um, agony ointments, we, we don't need those. We're never gonna use those. Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Luciferium. We don't make a bargain with the devil, because Bucko Drink's the only person they should be making bargains with. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Where the fuck am I gonna put this? <laughs> Just off the coast of the vault? Re uh, re oh, requires light terrain. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Um, we could put it on the beach. That's a flex, isn't it? We could put it there. We'd have to build a bunch of bridges, but we could... Just like an enormous pyramid. I don't know why that's so silly. That's so fun. Alternatively, is it better just to keep an enormous pyramid in the vault? Oh, that's almost better. Honestly, I, I prefer that more. <gasps> that's it, isn't it? Rodholfson. This is it. This is it, when you have this much colony wealth. I, I mean, what are we looking at right now, then? Oh, bollocks. I need to check out on someone who isn't our ideology. There isn't anyone here I can... Oh, wait, Alistair? What the fuck? That's not a man! That's a dodo! Either way, we'll check it in a minute. Oh, that's it. I think we're actually done. I think I think finally we've, we've converted one group. Of course, we made significant headway into two other groups as well. I'm hoping we can crack both out tomorrow. If it wasn't for Butch being down from being Pergonant, very selfish of her, we could have definitely gone out there and done a couple more raids. Goodbye, Rodolfson. Boom. Enemy now neutral. You convert to 15 of 15. So all we do now is we gift them treasure to finish the bribe. We have to be allied with them. And in doing that, they will convert to Bucko's way. They'll be our allies. They'll be they'll be our fleet. Because we're researching more bionics. Kind of urgent for poor sweet Butch. As we do it, we're getting a shitload of research points. <laughs> that is very silly. I mean, I'm happy to see it because it means we're speeding the way through to... Look at how fast we're going at this, though. Jesus. Thank you, Admiral Bucko. Oh, Bucko just visited her in hospital. Oh. Are they actually becoming a little more friendly? Are they becoming a bit more friendly now? Hold on. Uh, Comrade Admiral Bucko. Oh, wait. Has she always been friends with Admiral Bucko? Am I going mad? Oh, no, no, no. What it is is the modifier where she was our, our enemy has disappeared. So now they're actually very good friends. Sire doesn't trust her as much, but Sire is also uh, partly android, so... She probably doesn't forget these things. Final thing I'd like to do. The final thing I think I need to do here is get you back up on your feet. Brand new magical... Wait, is it clockwork or mechanical? I can never remember. Oh! Clockwork is bloody Arcotech stuff. Oh! I've been ignoring it because I thought it was worse, but absolutely not the case. Okay. Um, well, look, we got mechanical because I've actually got the mechanical stuff, right? We can install that new spine for you as well. The jeweled one. You don't... You don't need it, though, do you? Oh, no, your spine's fine. Okay, we'll keep that on the shelf. Don't worry. This child will operate on you like no other doctor on the world could. You are in very, very safe hands. What do you think the surgery failure rate at 33 medical is, huh? You probably hit 34 by the time you're done here. What does it even say? Um, surgery success chance? Oh, God, has that got some fucking pirate name? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it's just medical operation success, 110%. So in theory, you can never fail. I don't like take into account the negatives, of course, but I think this is state of the art. I can't really do much more with this. You get vitals monitors in hindsight. That'd be quite useful. Let's give you that vitality augment as well, which would help you heal a little bit better. You've already got the coagulator too, so we, you won't get into a situation like this again. I hope. Oh, look, we can actually prototype them. I don't know what this will do. Whether they'll come out damaged or something like that, they shouldn't. It should be fine, and we should be making that out of silver, too. There you go. Let's give that a go, too, plays eat more. And with that, she's good as new. Better than good as new with all the extra stuff. Wait. The crops. The bloody crops are all dying. Oh, shit. Uh, sun lamps? Oh, this is going to be expensive, isn't it? Sun lantern, 40 metal power, used 2,900 watts. They are ridiculous. How much have we got in excess? 17,000. Hey, thank God I built this nuclear reactor when we did, huh? Built it kind of as a curiosity, but it turns out we actually do need the bloody thing. Not gonna be able to save every crop. I suppose we'll do what we can here and just get as many as possible. There you go, there you go. We don't we don't really need the devil strand. I don't think I'll I'll stretch that far. There we are. Oh, why not? It's it's so cheap in terms of steel. There you go, there you go. Boom, a little bit, a little bit off size on that one. Perfect. Happy with that. It's gonna have to do. I don't think we've got enough power for that, so we might have to. I have to build another nuclear reactor in a second. We'll just load this one up with more fuel. If I'm not mistaken, that makes more power if we do that, right? Go. Run. We've got 32,000 watts right now. Up to 40,000? I still don't think that's going to be enough. I suppose not to mention by extent we've lost our solar grid. I haven't built too many of them, but they were... They were helping out a little teeny bit. To celebrate a day of actually succeeding with something, right? All right, flipping them over to... Or the second we ally with them anyway, then flipping over to Bucko's way. 
Bucko is going to give them access to his vault. They can eat whatever they like. Presuming they're allowed to eat it, of course. You can have the crafting skill trainer. Not that you need it. Who needs the shooting one? That's important. Really, I should give it to Salty and give Salty a different weapon. Because she needs something to help boost her up a little bit. Very good at cooking, obviously. But could do with that a little bit better. Level 4 to level 5. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> you can have the cooking fruit, though. Because she hasn't eaten the devil fruit yet. Perfect. You chomp that down for me, fella. And kapow. Look at that. Takes you all the way up to 25. And that's locked in now. Oh, how long have you had that critical passion? Oh, that's fine. though. That's, that's all right. I'm all right with that. Butch gets the thinking one. And then you have, what have we got? Spin impulse. Shooting again. Two more. Honestly, it's kind of a waste to do it on Salty, given that she doesn't have a passion in it. So you know what? I'm giving to Bucko. Maybe you'll finally stop shooting our own people with that. Thank you. Up to level 18. And then level 20. His handheld cannon is now called the Snar Star Sniper's War Casket Handheld Cannon. So it's very hard to read what that says. I'll rename it to Star Sniper. That's an amazing name for your cannon, bucko. Why is he allowed to equip this one, but not any of the others? Genuinely, I have no idea. I haven't changed anything. I haven't given him like a, a hidden war casket trait. It's just he's always been able to equip that one. So I ran with it. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. But you know what? It doesn't matter. We've got another one for shooting, actually. Come and eat this one, too. Boom. Takes him up to, what, about 23? Goes to 20. 22.6. Good enough. Another sidecast for Master Cringe. This is ridiculous. He's got so much stuff. I'll try and collect all the base game stuff on him, because I think that'd be kind of fun. We got another thinking one for Butch. A gene pack for never sleeping. If we're giving that to anyone, I think Sire. She's already got a hunger rate reduced by 40% because of her clockwork metabolism. This is actually too good. This is too good for her. Boom. Look at that. She never sleeps again. And, and I mean, it's barely added to our hunger rate. That's amazing. Disables the need for rest. Holy shit. Crack open some treasure. Sorry, I know I'm spending a long time here on treasure, but uh, we're, we're, we're pirates. Sorry if you haven't quite realized that yet. What have we got? Hyper aggressive. No, thank you. I think we're okay. Let's crack this one open. Come on. I want to see something good. Five more boxes. That's what we like to see. Ooh, to make more bionics. Because that's our limiting factor right now is we don't actually have... Ooh, okay. That's not terrible. We don't have enough advanced components and... Oh, shit. Basic server. Advanced server. Basic server. Poison fangs made of beeswax. A cyclone summoner made of snails. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that is a good day for Bucko's Island. This crew is going from strength to strength. We spent a small fortune in plunder. We probably spent like 20, 25k on being able to buy the bits that we need to get Butch back up to a good level of health. She's not 29% moving because she's got like a like a kind of dodgy leg. Oh no, the dodgy leg's given her benefits. Is it the advanced peg leg? Yeah, that's the one, sorry. We need to... Oh, I, was, I know I was looking at her arm. Shut up. We need to swap that one out at some point, which we'll get on with. Obviously, she's heavily pregnant too, so I'll let her off. I'll forgive her. Money well spent. Vault nice and fortified. And tomorrow, we crack on with the final things we need to bring over the sea serpents. You know what? Right, let's set a little challenge here. I'm going to try and get the sea serpents and... The other two factions we started on, the Drunkers and the Waster Pirates, the Forsaken Corporation. And that, my friends, will be a nice and powerful bucko drink. And then from there, who knows? A couple of vanity projects here and there, and then... My god, I've done everything I set out to do. Thank you, of course, to the executive producer patrons for allowing this series to exist in the first place. Thank you to Feather Blacker, Jim Stevenson, Emiria, Cat Lord, Mochi Panda, Critical Hat, Mooncake, Heroic Cat, Lord Snarky, Ravenlock, Ghosty, Burnt Bread Bits, Evelyn X, Cosmic Zombie, Izzy Claire, Ziggy, Insomniac, Boulder of the Hammer, Mothbot, Toomgi, Super Chunk, Overly Expressive, Hoopy, Neozela, and a Red Demon for their support. The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for being here. I hope you're enjoying a little bucko drink. A bit more of a traditional Rimworld series this time, you know? A little bit of super soldiering, but a lot, a lot of good base building. I think this has hit all the right notes for me personally, so really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you as well to Dr. Louie, Baconomics, Admus, Tenacious Bloom, JE520000, Kunksmore, Erotha, Jizzleson, Turana, Ice Crystal, Kayak Iggy, A... Max Diesel, Bulplup, and Sondre as well. 